Now you're very welcome back to the show. It is Science Week and Eaton have a huge range of science focused products that show that science and fun aren't mutually exclusive. We're joined now by Niall Lanigan from Eaton who's going to take us through some of these fantastic pieces. And I suppose coming up to the festive season and Christmas and Christmas stockings and presents, these are really good and educational uh, products, all ranging now from $7.99 to $16.99. Sure. Which is really good, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, great value. So listen, we'll take us through these. The first ones we're talking about is like a discovery uh, range. So we'll start with this here. So this, this is Engino, and yeah. uh, Engino is uh, a, a construction type kit set. So you have these very, oops, oops. excuse me, <laughs> these very small ones. So these are little ones which are, are suitable for kids from five. You have the Inventor range, so this is one that I actually made you earlier. Made this, yes, I did make it first. earlier. How long did um, it take you to make this? It, it took me 20 minutes. The instructions are brilliant. Oh, wow. um, the actual set, there's eight different models, eight different airplanes, helicopters right. that you can actually make with them. They're almost like lego -y type things. They are almost like lego -y. They're kind of cross between Lego and Meccano, I would say. Is, Meccano is as well, you've got that exactly, industrial exactly. side to the thing. Yeah. There's okay. one, one thing that is absolutely brilliant about them is this little device here. So it basically, you just I'll get you flip lift it. Up Sorry. Your just so the camera it so it, so it saves your nails. So ah. anybody who's made Lego will know that when you're taking it apart, it can be very it's, tough it's, on your nails. So I love this. So I can do it. Okay, brilliant. There are also the sets. So this set here is a physics set. So it's a full STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics kit. There's over 150 different models, and they all demonstrate various aspects of science, technology, engineering. Okay. I love this. So this is a magnet. This little car is, that's how, and this is the magnet here. Is that right? This is the magnet here. Can so this is part of the uh, Science Museum uh, uh, magnet science. Ooh. So whoops. So okay. Now we're doing it here because it's just a stupid place to be doing it. Let's be honest. On top of a box, but it, it's, it's great. Exactly, and the, Look at there's, that. there's over ten different little projects to actually make in this. Right. It was chosen by Cambridge University as part of their Science Week wow. because of, 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 of just how much it demonstrates. And this is eight plus. This is eight, eight, eight years plus. plus. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And there's a whole range of Science Museum products, including okay. the the drinks can robot. Great. Which what are we looking at for something like that now? How much? So the drinks can robot and the magnetic science they'd bought be fourteen ninety nine. Okay. The one hundred foot UFO flyer. Oh, this is what we're going to look at now. This is very good. I really so like this. Now this, I would say there's no age on this one because I like it. Yes, and I could tell you that it'll actually demonstrate aerodynamics and okay. centrifugal forces. But actually, <laughs> I just want to pull the string. It goes a hundred feet. <laughs> it goes a hundred feet. It goes a hundred feet. Woo! Look at that. That. That was a really good shot, I feel. What it do you was. think? Brilliant. No, but Brilliant. that'd be great fun. That'd be great fun for anybody, even on the beach or anything. I think Absolutely. that's fun. How much is that little thing? That's only seven ninety nine. That's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so there we have the oh yeah, now here. These are very interesting. This is almost like this is an egg like an egg timer, like a timer. So you've got a little card here with questions on it. Stuff like See the back, you've got like little caterpillars and different things. So one of the questions here is can you see more than one caterpillar? So we time ourselves, isn't that it? Now this is five, five year old plus. So yes. You have to answer all these questions on that within the time that exactly. this little egg timer. Yes. So yes. it's a great way of learning. Absolutely, and the, the brain no. boxes, there's a whole series of them. So this is the science one. There's a uh, uh, space one, which is oh, for wow. slightly older kids, eight plus. So they're harder questions, there's more cards. Uh, there's also a set for Ireland as well. So there's a full range. And of course, the beauty of them is you're actually learning but you're having some fun with I love that it. idea. I think that it's a really good range because it, it just, it, it learns, but it looks good too. Now this also looks good. You know the fascination these days with everything CSI? This is a fingerprinting kit. It's a fingerprinting kit. It, it, uh, again, for all the budding Sherlock Holmes out there. And essentially what it is, is it's, it's a full fingerprinting kit, but it explains the science behind fingerprinting as well. And it's part of, of, of a bigger range. So there's the larger kits, and then there's the smaller kits here. So these little ones, there's basically, in each one, there's 20 different little science projects that you can do at home. So some are magic tricks, some are indoor tricks, some are things to research, Lovely. so they're brilliant. Now this is a game called Dao, and anyone that's been to China will have seen people in the parks there playing this game, old, young, everybody. These are stones, and it's very simple, isn't it? it, it it's simple, it's, but it's hard. It's, it's like a lot of these Chinese yeah. games, like they're very simple, to do, but actually they're very hard to win and there's yes. a lot of strategy behind them. So the idea behind this one is very simple. You're allowed to move the stones 
it has to be moved to, to an adjacent stone, so I can move this one here and here. At the end I win, for instance, if I have all the white stones in a row, or in a square, or in the four corners. So very easy to play, but not very hard yeah. to win. And you know what, it can take a long time to get to that absolutely, point. I know you see people. Yes. These are little puzzles. This apparently turns into a robot. I'll never get it, but I didn't try now in fairness. Is this difficult? Sorry, I almost had it there. Is it? <laughs> it's, it's... Close your eyes and go like this. If, if you're... If you're young, I'd say it's, it's, it's probably, Is it kind of like you know, an aerobic, well, in, kind of... In, in my case, it would be quite difficult. Can you do it? I, I, it would take me longer than we have today. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> and this is another similar type thing, but this all comes apart, this bamboo exactly. puzzle. Exactly, so it's, it's a bamboo puzzle. That's it assembled. The yeah. idea is, is you take it apart and you see if you have to put it back together. And obviously you can challenge yourself in time, etc. Okay. in terms of doing that. Maths was my worst subject at school, so therefore I would never play this game. But this is a board game for... People that are good at maths, kids. So essentially, this is Scrabble, but with a mathematical basis. Right. So for people who love maths, this is a great game. Yeah. I'll just quickly move on from that one. Tell us about this. This is traditional Lego. So we have, within, within the Eastonology range, we have the Technics range, so it's traditional Lego. We also have, which, which I really like, which is the Architecture range, which is, oh, which is look here. At this. So this is one where oh, you, that's you actually make Big Ben. So the focus on, on within Eastonology on Lego is the slightly more advanced Lego sets. Okay, so that would be fourteen ninety nine, I presume. Uh, this is actually twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. These are are, are really but they're high quality. end. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, that, I'm not surprised. That's lovely. And twelve yeah. plus is recommended for this because it's fiddly enough. Now you have to see this. We're talking about fiddly. Okay, picture here is a beautiful grand piano. Now I hope I don't drop some of these. Now you'd have to be very very into fiddly stuff to use. It's almost like Lego, but it's teeny. Look how small some of the pieces are. See? So that will turn into a grand piano. So this is the nano blocks, and it's, it's all the fiddly bit, little bits, and yes, that will turn into a grand <laughs> piano. There's, you can make a whole band, in fact. There's guitars, saxophones. Um, there's also, uh, well. again, the slightly bigger ones, which is, in this case, the Empire State Building. We have the it's Statue fabulous. of Liberty. So, we only launched these recently, and they're absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, 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 they are, and you know, the way that, that people are now doing those drawing things, there is a kind of a therapeutic element to yeah, these as well. I bet, so. yeah. This one here I just want to show you. It's an Irish board game, and it's called Chase Across the Square. Tell us about this briefly. So again, it, it's, it's take, taking some of the ideas of, of board games that we actually know. It, it is, it, it's an Irish inventor who's come up with it, and it is, it is kind of a cross between snakes and ladders, uh, and Ludum, whatever, and um, essentially though, there's a mathematical element to it. It's suitable for kids from, I think, four up, so again, it's quite easy to play. There is a learning element to it while having fun. Lovely, so we have the discovery and then we have the challenge area. I have to say, I think it's great to see people physically and kids physically doing stuff with their hands and learning in the Absolutely. traditional manner. So these are great, ranging as we said, 40 99 some of the more expensive ones up to about 30 Yeah. Great. Absolutely. Now, thank you very much as thank usual. You. Now, if you want more information on these uh, great pieces, of course, the board games and the science uh, projects and everything, you can pop onto Eason's.com. And Eason have given us a selection of these wonderful products uh, to win for someone at home, some very lucky person at home. Pop onto our Facebook page, RT Today, for all the details.